Now, the U.S. Treasury has frozen all assets in the United States owned by the Commissioner General of Uganda Prisons, Johnson Yaba Shaija, accusing him of engaging in serious human rights abuses, including torture and uh, mistreatment of prisoners. Yaba Shaija and his family members have also been banned from traveling to the United States. Yaba Shaija has been in office since 2005, and uh, during his time in office, Members of the Uganda Prison Service have engaged in torture and other human rights abuse against the persons held within the Uganda Prison Service facilities. Prisoners have also reported being tortured and beaten by staff at his direction. Now, the government of Uganda is yet to respond to this development, but yesterday, President Museveni said he is not bothered by these sanctions and visa restrictions. Now, Johnson Yabashaija joins people like the former IGP, General Kale Kaihura, General Abel Kandiho, among other military officers who have been sanctioned by the U.S. Uh, let's have a look at, uh, you know, some comments on social media. Now, let me start off with uh, Jumba Mukasa. Instead of dealing with the tormentor, they are punishing the messenger. Yabashaija is working for Museveni. Let the sanctions go to all the 400 NRM members of parliament instead. We also want to hear Museveni and all the heads of security on ICC wanted list. Musobia Ronald, I'm sorry to say these sanctions are useless because they don't affect anyone in any way. Well, Chigundu Rogers, I request the ICC to come and serve the lives of Ugandans. I think they have collected enough evidence for human rights violations in Uganda. Uh, this is uh, Phil Michael. But that guy is ever in Uganda. So what is the purpose of the sanction? Maybe something else should be done. Look at these cowards. Why sanction a powerless man to show you are doing something? Why not go for his boss? Okay, let me wind up with uh, Dennis. I have never had anyone tortured in prison. They are always brought to prison, already tortured. This is no sesiko. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, comments coming in from uh, Dennis Ryder and uh, other Ugandans on social media. What do you make of uh, this development? Uh, the comment section is uh, very open for you. Uh, we are still waiting for government to respond to this development. And I will definitely be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. My name is uh, Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and uh, subscribe in case you haven't, but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. That side, I'm very active as well, you know, keeping you posted on what is happening in the country. It is a bye for now. Thank you.